I've heard some top investors say, don't buy your own home. You should rent where you live. Don't buy your own home. I think that's the worst advice you can give people in a million years. I, I couldn't disagree more with that statement. You know, I'm an average guy that came from meager beginnings and my mom and dad, we never really had any money. But one thing I realized was around in the 80s sometime, my parents paid off their mortgage. They bought their home back in the 50s and they paid $12,500 for that house. Their mortgage payment was $51 a month. Isn't that funny? $51 a month was their mortgage payment and they paid that for 30 years. And then we actually burned that mortgage on the top of Pikes Peak. Took a family motorcycle trip, we burned that mortgage up there to celebrate my parents paying off their house. Now, I don't know what it was back in the 80s, but I know when I started to be old enough to kind of realize the value of houses in the later 80s, I said to myself, this house is worth $100,000. And my parents paid $12,500 for it. Hmm. So I said to myself, what if I had 10 of these, right? That's what got my wheels spinning by becoming a real estate investor. How would I pay for that many? But that's not the point of this video. The, the video here I'm talking about is at the end of their journey, that was the wealth they had. The wealth they had was in their home. We never had any rich relatives left money to us. It was in their home. That same home my mom is still in. My mom's 85. My mom's still in that home. And that home is now valued at over $200,000. They paid 12,500 bucks for it. How is that not a good investment? 